What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are doing a smoky wing tutorial. This video has been so highly requested for so long. I just kept forgetting to film it. And then today I was like, I want to do something basic that's super easy to follow. It's something I do almost every day. Every time I wear eyeliner, this is the method I use. It's this really pretty smoked out winged liner but you don't even have to use eyeliner if you don't want i will show you my methods in this video this is so simple there's a couple really amazing hacks and tips that i have learned over the years that make doing a wing especially a shadow wing like my favorite thing and the easiest thing to do in terms of eyeliner so i hope you guys enjoy it let me know if you do comment below and say hey and if you want to see this cute little smoky winged eye moment and how to get it then keep on watching Okay, my loves, let's jump in. All you're gonna need for this look is a brown or black eyeshadow, a brown or black eyeliner. It really doesn't matter. I have a few different palettes here. Honestly, most palettes, when you open them up, you have something brown or black. This is a Makeup Revolution one I love. This is a Charlotte one. I just wanna show this one, because you guys know I talk about this one all the time. This brown, not quite dark enough in my opinion like you want to go a little bit darker just so we can define the eyes so i think i'm going to use my yeah i think i'm going to do, use my mario palette i know so many people have this palette but like i said any brown or black eyeshadow is fine and then you're going to want an angled brush of some kind again if you don't have an angled brush that's fine i'm going to show you two different ways to do this so if you don't want to do shadow you can do a pencil the charlotte tilbury rock and coal eyeliner pencil is so freaking good you guys especially for this like smoky winged look let's get this hair out of the way so like i said i'm gonna show you two different ways so the reason i love this pencil right here specifically and you don't have to get this one but you just want to make sure you get one that is smudgeable that's the most important thing if you're using a liner so i like to just kind of smudge it on the back of my hand and you can see it's just so creamy you can see like if i pull it it smudges that's what you want if you have like a liquid liner or a type of liner that stays in place it's not going to work for this type of look now you can either grab your angled brush and start going on the eye or you can go directly on the eye with the pencil i'm going to start with the pencil just in case well maybe we'll do this side pencil this side shadow brush option so let's just use the pencil to start zoom you in okay so you're going to start at the outer part of your lash line. You don't wanna to be too far in. I honestly, some people like to sit, say they like to start like right where their pupil is. I like to start it even a little bit further and just start pressing this on. You can see I'm just kind of like dragging this way because I'm just trying to get the product to come off onto my lid. Okay, so just like that, we're just creating a little line, okay? Then you're gonna grab your nail or something like an angled brush. If I'm in a rush, most times I'm using my nail and since this smudges so easily, I am just dragging, this is my hack, I am just dragging this upward kind of towards my the outer part of my eyebrow, but I'm following the line of my lower lash line. So I'm going straight out from where my lower lash line is curved and that's gonna be the perfect curved wing or the perfect wing for you is by using that curve under here so now we have a guide a shadow okay so just smudging and using your nail to pull that outward so do you see we have i mean you could stop here this could be your smoky wing i like to kind of define it a little bit more so you could grab your angled brush at this point or you could leave it and you can take the excess product off the back of your hand you could go in with your brown or black eyeshadow and i'm just going to push this product right over top closer to that lash line and i just want to keep this as like i said just as close to the lash line as possible and now i'm following that line that i created by the smudge of the shadow so see how this line like that my lower lash line i hope i'm explaining this well my lower lash line 
this right here, if I were to continue that out, that is where that wing is gonna go. That's the direction of the wing. So you could go more straight out and create a different shape for your eye, but personally, I feel like this looks the best. So I'm just shadowing this on really lightly with my brush, just kind of like making all of these products blend together. Okay, so you can see that one, that wing is a little long. You guys have seen me do this a million times, but I love to use a little beauty sponge to clean up these edges, to clean up my shadow or my wing. I just kind of push the sponge where I want, it's kind of like an eraser, where I want the product to go away. So I kind of just use this as an eraser and then I'll either go back in with my pencil or my shadow and Kind of define that a little bit more, just get more product down. Use my nail again, or my brush, and then just smudging anything else that needs to be smudged. If you want, you could use an actual smudging brush. This would work a little bit better, but again, not necessary. Something like this could be good, just to smudge that shadow a little bit more. Okay, so there you have it. There is my shadow wing. I love these because they don't have to be perfect. They can kind of just fade out. You just want them to have the general shape of a wing. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, but I'm gonna show you just powder this time. If you want, it helps to spray a little setting spray on the tip of your brush and then go in with your brown or black shadow. It's just gonna stick a little bit better, but I'm just gonna show you same exact process. I'm just pushing this on the outer part of my upper lash line starting a little after my pupil and then flicking it upward using the guide of that lower lash line. Honestly, I think the nail method is my favorite method because it just works better. It just flicks it and I can manipulate it easier. Just personally, you can see I'm just grabbing my sponge and kind of cleaning that up. This tiny little sponge is from Milani. I got it in a pack of two. So now I'm just gonna smudge this so it's a little more smoky. I'm just really light handed right now. And I'm just smoking that right on. Honestly, I like this method a little bit better. It's a little cleaner. You can see there's some excess shadow here from my eyeliner. Do you see how this is just a little cleaner? So it kind of just depends. Like, am I in a rush? What's the vibe that day? What product honestly did I see first? Okay, so I'm just gonna clean that up with a teeny bit of concealer and my finger, and I'm just gonna tap that right over. So this line is just a little more precise. Same thing with this wing. But the most important thing is that the wings are generally the same size, and they are pointing towards the same direction. If you have one going out straight and one going up, your eyes are gonna look two different shapes, and we do not want that. Okay, so now you can see I'm kinda just looking at both, comparing and making sure they're even enough. Going back and forth with my little sponge and cleaning up. And there you have it. Now there are a million different things we can do at this point. We can leave it like this, pop mascara on, call it a day. That's definitely an option for you. Personally, I like to grab a little bit of a brown shadow and I tend to use my bronzer more than anything, but since I'm in this Mario palette, I'll just use one of these browns. I'm gonna go with the upper right hand corner one because I just want this really really neutral and very very natural and you can do this before the eyeliner or after for me it doesn't really matter but I'm just adding a teeny bit of depth in my crease you could also use the smudger or angled brush with that same brown get my smudger because I like the smudger a little better for this and any I was staying in these two dark browns but any of these browns work and you can smudge that onto the lower lash line and this is going to define the eye a little more this is if maybe you're going to a wedding and you just want more of a defined eye if you don't obviously don't do this step just leave that lower lash line really bare I'm grabbing a clean brush and just dusting that out and smoking it out even more. Boom. Okay, let's get a little crazy and let's add a little bit of the lightest white right to the inner corner of the eye. This is gonna brighten everything up and make everything pop a little bit more. You see the very subtle difference that makes? And let's do no shimmer today. Let's keep it 
extremely basic. All right, last thing is mascara. This is self-explanatory. I am using L'Oreal Telescopic as always, but this is gonna pull the whole look together. I saw this tip on TikTok. Look down at a mirror when you're applying your mascara. Wait, no, what is the tip? I think it's tilt your head back. Okay, so this is better. <laughs> Let's get the tip right, Sarah. Okay, so if there's a mirror right in front of you, tilt your head back and really work the mascara in at the base of the lash. That way you're gonna get more of a lifting sensation. I don't curl my lashes, so I like to do this when I just really wanna get every single lash. You can see I'm kind of like wiggling and pulling. I also like to pull my lashes kind of outward when I'm coating them with mascara and I do a wing just to create that more of a cat eye. Again, if you want this to be more of a daytime look, skip that lower lash mascara because we did a little bit of shadow. I'm gonna put a little on, but absolutely skip this step if you want. Or if you have a handheld mirror like I do right now, looking down and kind of tilting your head back also works because I can just see the base of my lashes this way. All right, I zoomed you back out. You can see I'm constantly just kind of like refining if I see an angle that's not right. But honestly, the nail trick is the trick. If you don't have long nails, this isn't gonna work, but you could use like the back of a tweezer or an angled brush is gonna be your best friend. But personally, I just love the control that I have when my, with my nails because they're on my hands. Okay, so that's the full smoky shadow. Shadow, shadowing? I think that's what we need to call it, shadowing. This is the shadowing. <laughs> okay, so that is, there is the close up in case you didn't see it. I got a comment the other day that was like, this video would be so much more helpful if it was more zoomed in. So I'm like, here you go, <laughs> which I totally get. Like I get it, no shade, no hate. I just wanna make sure I'm giving you guys all the visuals that you want. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.